Hi friends, what's up? This is RK from 360 Reader. Right now, I'm going to show how to switch to private browsing in Safari on iPhone with the new Safari in iOS 15 or later. Safari has gotten a major overhaul with iOS 15 and while there are a number of improvements and changes, some features aren't found where they used to be. One of the biggest changes with Safari in iOS 15 is the default address or search bar is now on the bottom of the screen. There is also a new tab group experience and more. While some features are revertible, like changing back to a top bar design, some have permanently changed. With private browsing, iOS 15 will create a ton of confusion among users. If it has also confused you, let me show you how to switch to private browsing in Safari in iOS 15 or later. Before getting started, make sure you have subscribed our YouTube channel and hit the bell icon so that you won't miss any update from 360 Reader. It's worth noting that Safari won't remember the pages you visited, your search history, or your autofill information after you close the tab in private browsing mode. To get going, launch Safari on your iPhone running iOS 15 or later. After that, do a long press on the two square icon in the bottom right corner or top right corner for landscape view. Then choose new private tab. Alternately, open Safari on your iPhone running iOS 15 or later. Then tap the two square icon in the bottom right corner or top right corner if using landscape view then tap the one tab button or x tabs then choose private after that tap the plus icon in the bottom corner you can tell if you're using private browsing as the address or search turns dark follow the same steps and then tap private again to stop using the feature that's pretty much it so that's the way you can enable private browsing mode in safari on your iphone running ios 15 or later now that you know how this privacy centric feature works make the most of it to browse the web with enhanced privacy on your iphone and ipad if you have found this video helpful make sure to like and share it and i'll see you in the next video with more such handy iphone and ipad hacks till then stay safe and have a great time bye bye